All right, welcome to EVE Online, I'm Major Freak. So, um, changing my search patterns. I go out 12 jumps and I started, already had my waypoint cell set for all characters. And I started at 2250 and it's, like I always figure, it takes me just under an hour transit time back to staging area um, to do scouting. And I typically find, uh, at the minimum, three. Um, at the most 12, sometimes more, but eh, say an average on, you know, a, a Friday just after prime time, I found five, six, um, I think one of, one, one of them was in low sec nearby, so I was like, nope. Uh, so yeah, five. Now, the question is how, how much can I truncate my search pattern in order to speed it up? Say if I could get a guaranteed hit every time I did a search pattern and say under half an hour would that be worth it hell yeah um back in the day you probably wouldn't be able to get away with that because hardly anybody was punking fobs pirate strongholds and even though I once you destroy one very shortly afterwards another one in the universe appears so if there's nobody out there punking them and you clear out your local area it's going to take forever to get more theoretically right um hypothetically more like um so what's what's to stop me now with with it being so it's just incredibly ridiculous about the amount of time this is now this is public posting uh most pv ears aren't on a z kill other than the victim right so you're never gonna see most of the fob hunters and some of them deliberately keep it on the uh on the down low because why would they give free intel about what where they are and when they operate right um so I'm thinking, okay, so I go 12 out, I find three to a dozen. What if I could guarantee myself one fob at least if I do half that? And I was thinking, I made a video about that and I'm thinking, you know, why, like, why don't I? Um, and then I thought, well, wait a minute. What if... What if there's something I hadn't been considering? And of course, as soon as I ended the video, I <laughs> I, I realized um, that there's a problem in truncating it down to six. It's because Jita is, I think, six jumps from uh, my staging point. And so in order to get it, because why would, yeah, is your, <laughs> the chances of, Fob spawning near to Jita and staying there for long are pretty slim. So I'd be kneecapping myself. Uh, and what I could do is go back because I post an image of my waypoint maps to Discord and I've got images all the way back. And I could go through and look at each one and find out how far from my staging area each uh, waypoint was and start to think okay well how many have i found within six jumps and i think that would be the, probably the smartest thing to do um and how much further should i stretch it and honestly it would probably have to be 10 jumps instead of six uh, just to capture enough area right um but i'm not really sure it's like I went with 12 because that's my gut's reaction to how far I'm willing to transit back from the last fob back home, right? If we go out and do fobs and now we're 36 jumps from staging, that would suck. So what's the gut reaction to the max, you know, the pain point? And the pain point is 12. Definitely 12. Um, but it would be nicer if I could do less. You know, if I did 10, that would probably cut 
my search patterns down quite a bit because you know geometry and shit right um so it'd be interesting to to see how many fobs i found that are say 10 or less like how what what's the subset of um fobs i'd be denying myself if i just went out say 10 um and then eight and then even six i mean why would i want to waste my time because the it takes me an hour to do the search pattern in that time after searching what if somebody like went and punked anilla like they had an hour somebody had an hour to punk anilla uh before i got to it right um when was that when did i uh oops show time stamp so that was 22 minutes a third into my search pattern what if in that 40 minutes somebody's already gone by and nuked it right so if i could cut the time down for scouting that would mean less chances for somebody else to come in and swoop right so there's my thinking i mean how do i want to kneecap myself with the mar being six jumps away right so how many jumps past Amar am I willing to go uh, in order to find stuff? And Amar is a hub, right? So, yeah, this is going to be chancy. I mean, when I do my search patterns, most of my guys have to go through Amar. Um, so, yeah, it's a... And, and plus, you're denying yourself, say, if I go towards... Um, uh, the Cosmos area for Domain, the Shanoon area, Minori and stuff like that, Iderion. Um, that's, you know, I mean, how far is Iderion from here? I, it's probably 12 jumps, right? I'm betting, I'm betting 11. 12 jumps, yeah, 12 jumps. So I would be cutting out Shanoon and Iderion from that list. So to me, it's like, well, I've gone this far. I should just go two more jumps and scout. So it, it would be painful to reduce the number of jumps just because of the footprint you've got and the hub system and the little arms that go out past 10 jumps. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's, it's difficult. Um, to justify going less than 12 it really is i could do 10 but as you just saw it's like uh you know um what what are the limits you're willing to go to and that's your pain point and are you willing to bet that nobody's going to say punkanilla in the past 40 minutes that you'd found it and moved on so yeah I know these these are the things I constantly ask myself and I'm constantly going no I'm I'm happy at 12 12 is a pain point of getting back to staging um an hour for scouting you know you literally saw it, it took me an hour for scouting um so I'm 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 happy with that um I if and I get enough so I it's usually I get one two three three four five six so i'll get six so half a dozen uh sometimes less than that like minimum three um and i could get a maximum of, of a dozen sometimes uh in the in the slow periods when people aren't punking it right and especially not on the weekends um so six is a number if somebody say at an ill i go there somebody's there already i can go this this is how i do it. i go you just do and that's the nice thing about 12. 12 waypoints is the maximum my computer can take before freezing when I hit optimize, right? This music sounds really loud, but so I'm not because I've got my headphones cranked. So I'd be curious. I've got the uh, and a cat bound is pretty loud too, but I've got it. 
that's a... It doesn't tell me the percentage that's the annoying thing. But around there is usually good for listening. It just must be my headphones. It, it'll sound different in the recording. Anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, so... What I'll do is I'll rotate it just a wee bit. And then I'll zoom it in. Tiny bit. Get rid of that. And I'll take a screenshot. And then post it to my Discord. Uh, most most everybody is uh, off at work or sleeping or something right now. So this is usually not a good time for them. Um, but yeah, I'll post it. And if anybody's interested, they can, they can join me from my Discord. But yeah, this is usually how it looks. And it would be interesting to go through and see how many systems, like, how many systems I would be cutting myself off from. Uh, and I could even cut them out and then waypoint it and see what kind of waypoints I'd get when I truncated it, right? But yeah, CMR right there, I'd be like, that's six jumps. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be cutting yourself off from a huge swath. Like one, two, or sorry, one, two, three, four. Definitely one. And yeah. like check this out so that's nine jumps okay so nine jumps we can do that 12 no 11 no 11 no 12 no 13 no so if i did six i'd never be able to do this uh nine jumps so 10 jumps if i did a 10 jump radius i'd get guaranteed one but i'd be missing out on you know I'd be missing out, if I did 11, I would do two more. And if I did, you know, 12, I'd do all of them. But yeah, and this is 13 jumps away. I'm just going to do it anyways. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that I think it's I think it's not how many you're guaranteed of getting and see if you can get it the least possible. Which would be interesting to experiment with uh, if I did, say, 10 jumps out. And how 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 quickly I could do it, but if I ended up having to take 45 minutes, I want it under half an hour. If I can do 10 jumps, less 10 or less jumps in just under half an hour of searching, that would be worth it, right? So that's that's what I'm thinking right now. If it could be less than half an hour doing 10 or less jumps, then it would be worth it. Otherwise, I'm cutting myself off from half of my waypoint system, which I could do, assuming that around this time, nobody's really punking it, that I've discovered the perfect pain zone for uh, other people <laughs> to punking fobs. Yeah. Slowly re refitting my uh, stagecoach doctrine, upgrading it from previous versions. Like 12, 12 iterations so far. I don't think it'll change at all anymore. I think uh, I think I've um, tweaked and pulled as much as I possibly could.
I know I've got enough ammo, so I'm not worried about that. Yeah, 2000 is good enough. Autopilot on that one. Autopilot on that one. Yeah, and this 16 billion, that's after purchasing uh, 1,800 Plex. Uh, I'm sure the price has dropped a little bit. But it, it could have gone up. No, <laughs> it hasn't really dropped much. Yep. Woohoo. Yeah, that surprise three days sale for 300 plex for Omega, uh, which I think is unheard of. I think, I don't think so. I think it's been on sale before. Uh, not sure if it's been 40% off though. It was, uh, oh God, who was it? One of the trader YouTuber creators, I'm sorry, I forgot his name, but he, he talked about it. Um, and the, the end of third quarter sales report, I'm sure that'll, that'll be able to be bullshitted. Look at, our, look, at our, look at our metrics. Sales are spiking. <laughs> yes, sir, our new faction warfare is spiking sales. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'd... Uh, I'd had transactions since the... 4th of September, and I was down to like... Four billion. What oh, date? Um, there, two billion. I was down to two billion when I did my, uh, my monthly uh, subscription by plexing. Uh, so since the fourth, uh, I've made quite a bundle, uh, and that's just doing fobs. Yeah, it'll be kind of fun. Um, I'm thinking of uh, organizing a, a coalition fob hunt where everybody just sits at the ping and we all get tons of isk and then we donate it to the coffers of Exidium. That'll be fun. Um, if we have 2,400 and say the reward payout is down to 20 million each for that, that's that's almost like, that's 480 million isk per fob total, right? So that's half a billion per fob. And I could find like, six easy um in an hour uh and it this was a few hours after yeah a few hours after everybody stopped punking uh went elsewhere or whatever it's just not their prime time right now but it was like four hours ago for sure um and if i found six uh, easy enough in 12 jumps from my staging area. And 
yeah, it could be easily done. Sometimes I've found, it depends on when we can do it. Like I think in about four hours, that's the prime time for my coalition. So probably, I mean, I could literally do all of these fobs, come back, get on my scout ship and scout again. Um, and I'd find at least three. Guaranteed. It'd be interesting to do it, uh, to test, and I'll definitely add it onto the end of this video, or uh, make it a two-part video. So that would be interesting. Hello. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm transiting, I'll keep my one of my characters uh, with the agency open because sometimes when you're en route, <laughs> there'll be a there'll be a fob in the system you're transiting through that you hadn't scouted. So. All right, Renanella, dock up. Oh, that eh, lol. Yeah, I broke 20 billion uh, a couple of days ago before I bought the Plex. Before I was, I bought the Plex before I realized that the 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 sale for 40% off the the Omega was no longer. So I'm like, boo! I don't no idea it was three days only. I thought it was with the uh, with the Marian sale, right? The the event. So. That was going on to the second. So, haha, whoops, caveat emptor in that one. Slow boating the guys. Yeah, it'll take three more jumps. I should be in position. Last thing I want to do is eject right now. <laughs> Probably find a planet. Eject there. I probably won't need to. Yeah, let's stop. Easier just to eject here and have somebody target me. No need to get fancy. It's not really called ghost riding because ghost riding is when you target your own ship that you've ejected from. to Urzos because uh, Urzo low sec I'm not going to chance it why get greedy right there you confirm that it's more than 1500 nice Almost ready. And I'll always 
warp back to my ship, get in it, come back to the bookmark, and then warp my guys to uh, the bookmarker. Uh, that's a foolproof way. Otherwise, sometimes you'll be having to play grid foo, and it's... Uh, if you've seen the videos, it's really annoying. <laughs> I haven't quite figured out the grid foo yet. Control F1 to 6. Hold down control. Yeah, I switched shift and control in the hotkeys because it just made no sense because middle was shift or low was shift and middle was control. And it's like, why? Control's lower than shift. What? So yeah. Durr. Yeah. Of, the, of the many derp things CCP has always done and always will do. <laughs> it's one of them. Alrighty. I used to... Well, if I'm playing with others, especially those new two fobs and stuff, I'll go in with a pod and drain the uh, the fobs capacitor. It takes, about ten, ten, takes exactly 10 minutes after it starts draining or shooting at you. And I used to distract the the haulers uh, response fleet. I call the things that spawn here the defense fleet and the oh cool um, and the defense fleet uh, the one that spawns here. But I used to distract the hauler uh, haulers response fleet at an asteroid belt uh, just to lower the DPS and the tackle and all that stuff. And it's kind of fun because then you could try to probe down the hall or yada yada, but whoops, brain dead. Give me a sec. Launch drones. Click. Launch drones. And I've got them different colored in the watch list for up and down because I'd like to practice my, uh, my logy stuff while I'm here. Whoops. And I've always trying to figure it out what kind of rent it's it's random how the how the watch list is populated. So I'll go F3, F4, then keep at range. And then five at six. And since I've got my finger still on it, five and six, that's how I do it. And whoops. There we go. And voila. Do, 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 do. So everybody's getting set up. We've got one auger. One auger is usually fun because we've got frigates, right? And I'll send in my destroyer to take out the, uh, the crewers while my kid team goes in and jams the crewer. And since we were using frigates, it'll hardly ever spawn more augers, right? So, just wait till uh, my destroyer gets in system before I jump in. Now align. I used to align to the fob, but then if it gets destroyed, this sucker just stops moving. So I just align one of my guys and then I hit drones because I can make sure I've got my drones off field and that's where the salvage wreck will appear. So be able to warp to that. Yeah. Uh, this is my drone bunny. Uh, but I'll probably get Talon to go in and start pew pewing things. Um, yeah. Uh, 
by the time my destroyer gets here, it'll probably be almost dead, maybe? No, we'll figure it out. And what I'll do is, since he's going in and he's got a web, I will web the lead. And this is the weird thing. You, This is the lead omen. And the rest of them, they will actually anchor up on him. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. So all you have to do is web the lead and everybody else slows down in the orbit. So it's, it's hilarious. Yeah, I actually made one of my alphas Omega uh, using the starter pack um, just before the weekend. Uh, the seven day one, you know, once per account kind of thing. I was surprised I was able to do it. I was like, oh, cool. Um, so that's done. And that's kind of fun. Doing a little bit of training before the time runs out. Yeah, trying to train things that takes weeks using uh, the in-game skilling spree. <laughs> it's, yeah, kind of painful. All right, let's retract the drones because these suckers might hit hard, but the hammers are better. So one crew got spawned. And it's nice that the hauler hasn't shown up and, and, and got the melee confused or made it hit a confused melee. So melee. All right. Get a red talon just in case he gets tagged. Loop. I'm I'm of the opinion staggering your jams is a smart thing, but maybe it's kind of silly to do. But I don't know. That's what I like to do. Let's get these guys locked up. Oops, silly me. Because you know, if you don't have him on watch list, <laughs> he's going to get shot. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. we'll lock up the anchor. And my wingman knew to uh, not uh, attack. And let's get my hammers out. And he should be queuing things now. Yep, he is. Good. Yeah, and the nice thing about just warping in frigate size, you typically won't get more augers, which is awesome. That was a problem with warping in, you know, heavy hitters like the Rook and uh, other stuff. Uh, I just spawned more augers, and it was like, crap, now I gotta deal with more, so. Yeah, totally worth it going with frigates. Plated frigates. That is a lot of crews. Hopefully I can wipe them off the field because I think, like I'm not certain, but I think the more crews, more crews there are than battleships, that they might start targeting uh, friendly support vessels around randomly, the crews. And then if they do that, there's a possibility of the omens uh, shooting that person as well. So just in case I'm gonna lock. my wingman and there's let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve eleven twelve yeah almost a dozen so yeah that would be awkward if he went boom hopefully he's played it hopefully yeah if I reduced and put one on him, then I'd probably start taking more damage. So, nice, one down. Cool. Yeah, as you can see, they're all orbiting. It's pretty funny. Lol. Yeah, I think the warning sign would see one of the crewers uh, point uh, Talon, and that's when I'd probably drop uh, my down rep and put it on Talon. Because I believe he was destroyed a long time ago. He brought in a bling Picamore or something and got popped. Oh, I shoot the... Nice thing about tactical camera, <laughs> tactical camera. The nice thing about the aesthetic camera right here, the grid camera, is that when you have dynamic camera uh, toggled in graphics, uh, your your angle doesn't change, which is great. Pew pew. Yeah, the, uh, the webs will usually, uh, um, the neutralizing will usually die off within about 10 minutes because, you know, of the capacitor drain. 
on the fob, but it's about to blow up, so neener, neener, kaboom. Hello. Ah, there it is. Since it's a alliance kill, or he's on the kill mail, I'll usually post it. Oop. Hmm. Kill the rest of these guys. And since he's here, might as well. fun. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, normally, I just ignore everything. I just leave everybody um, at the ping and then use the MJDs to get to get these guys out of range of the, the jamming and just, or the, the long points and just warp off to the next one um which is you. Alright. Get my scouts off. Well, I'll keep this one just for a little bit. <laughs> Speed up the process. Let's switch to uh, Baryon Exotic. Do, do, do. Sometimes omens will spawn uh, for frigates. It happens. <laughs> Is it an arbitrator? No. Good. No arbitrators. Boo. Hiss. Q. 
71 kilometers way too far away. Well, my drones won't even get to it. But they will if I MJD there. Sucker. Now I'm curious. It must have broken the assist order. Maybe. Oh, who, who cares? I'm just going to retract them. Pew pew. Nice. Woohoo. Off we go. It's weird, huh? N now the pirate strongholds are here. Uh, incursions and pirate strongholds were flipped. I, I, do you know the reason I don't like them doing that? Because it teases us. It says, haha, we can switch it around, but you can't. It's like, why aren't you giving us a option to, you know, reduce the size, enlarge it, um, rearrange the order of these to suit our own playstyle? It's just, it, 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 it was un arbitrary and unnecessary, and it was just like, haha, we can do it, you can't. And it's just felt so petty. It's like, wow. And of course, they'll never give us the option to customize it because, pff, yeah, they know best. And yeah, it just, it was just so, ugh. Yeah. The lack of customization for the UI. Like being able to place this over here, right? This whole thing. Where Can we just place it over here or down here or anywhere we want? Yeah. Just... When I first played the game, that, that, you know, remember when you first played the game and it was like, hey, can I re... And you're like, what? And and you look at the hotkeys and like, but there's no hotkey for the what I want. What? Yeah. <clears throat> very, very bizarre culture they have at CCP. It's it's arrogant, no doubt, but it's it's bizarre in the fact that they're so stubborn about their way of the highway it, it's like you know maybe this is why your game's dying it's because you guys it's not us that are a problem it's your culture and it'll never change because yeah <laughs> why would they change it you know it, it works for them You know, it works for Hilmar, that's for sure. Yeah. Welcome to what is probably typical for developers. And we, we're lucky. Uh, can you imagine if we were dealing with people like uh, war gambling? Or, or, or having to help us the way blizzard has fallen but was it always a climate of <clears throat> sexual harassment was it always because everybody thought the game was great maybe maybe it was difficult for the women to go hey me too hashtag you know um i kind of doubt it i think it probably fell to the wayside i'm pretty sure it was a pretty cool environment to work at i'm sure there were a holes there, but I'm pretty sure they didn't have a a death grip on the game gaming environment there yet. Maybe, who knows, right? Uh, I haven't looked into it that much, but yeah. Huh. 
I wonder where their vaunted 150 developers are now that they bragged about at FanFest. Did they get the pink slip ever since August 2nd when they axed all the all the related EVE games? You know, what's to replace them, right? Alright, all my guys en route. Okay. Yeah, it's just lather, rinse, repeat. It's easier, of course, when I have a station to park at. Mm hmm. Yeah, and typically during this operating time, I won't have rivals. They're already done and dusted. At uh, the prime time, 1800 hours. And on the weekend, yeah. Alright. That should be good. I used to wait till I saw the numbers change. But now I'm just guesstimating when it passes 10k. Perfect. here. Oh, not quite. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and, and typically you'll have other players joining you for probably usually just one system and then going back home and doing their own thing. Uh, sometimes they'll hang around, but they usually, well, it's like you'll get every half an hour 30 million, but could you do that doing other things, right? Nope, Talents joining us, right on. Yeah, once, how far is the next one? Uh, same amount of jumps. All right. Hello. Hey, yawn. everybody at the station. squad and he's not part of the squad. Got it, got it, got it.
I used to have a macro to do this, but it would be laggy and sometimes it just wouldn't work. But yeah, the swipe is <laughs> it's perfect. I mean, you kind of think it's like you, if you ever met, if I ever met CCP and I had one suggestion to make, it'd be like, hey guys, could you like switch the control and shift in the default hotkeys? Because that would go a long way to encourage people to actually use that kind of hotkey for, uh, you know, um, hardeners and stuff like that. And the low slots and mid slots, it would, I think it would go a long way. Because to me, it would be simple. It would be easy, uh, but if I really wanted to berate them and bang their head against a wall a few times and, and then maybe curb stomp them and then explain nicely about what I want fixed, it's the default market column bullshit alignment that, you know, happens when a new character is created and they get, yeah, just total, you know, the... the the columns are sorted stupidly. Yeah. I used to stagger my approach, but I'm like, meh. It's so RNG. But I'm of the opinion that every odd character that war uh, odd numbered character that warps in on grid, that triggers a spawn. Almost certain of that. All right. Pump out the heavies first. Fine, by the time they eject and it targets the fob to shoot, they're all launched and they're able to attack. Pew pew. And I'm guessing when you have a delay this long, it usually means you're going to get battleships. So the crews will appear first. And then the battleships. so comical though right i mean <laughs> yeah there it's so comical it's like um th uh two apox are worth three um three omens in dps right and normally you get like six omens versus two apox it just makes zero sense like sometimes you're getting nine twelve omens where you'd get like three apocalypses and three apocalypses uh, three f let's say four apocalypses are worth six omens when's the last time you saw four apox on the field right yeah <laughs> and they're they don't have any bounty they just they don't like the augers do um and the omens do but yeah it's just bananas so it's it's not it's not even worth going after them um, there's no incentive to. So I just blow up the fob and, you know, I'll warp in, uh, because it's just the battleships, I'll warp in the destroyer and just kill the, kill the crew right now. And the augers don't even help it because they're worried about the, the sniper auger. I mean, the apocalypse. It's just so funny. Really? And a Kura will probably, Kura or two will spawn. Or maybe even an Omen. Oh, an Omen. There you go. Yep. P 
pew pew. Completely pointless trying to do anything. I'll just simply warp the destroyer back to the ping. No point in sticking around. Do do do. Probably go to Amara next. Seven jumps, man. And how far do I need to get to next system? Eh, not bad. Realigning everybody. And I'll just hit autopilot on all the small ships and head on out to the next one. And like I said, it's way past their bedtime, so most of the, um, even on the weekend, most of the FOB hunters are, are sleepy time, so I won't have any rivals stealing any of my uh, FOBs. <laughs> Yeah, because normally I'll top out about 13 uh, pilots on grid. Uh, never gotten more. Um, normally because, I, you know, uh, somebody's available, you know, come along for the ride. But it's it's nothing really organized. We Our time zones are so dissimilar that it's, it's really hard to get people uh, together. Um, but if it was a group thing and they realized how, like, half a billion for FOB with that many conservatively like I'm assuming it's like between 19 and 20 million reward each which is a drop from 30 right but still I mean that's double what I make per FOB with just my eight guys I know it's not a zero-sum game at all which is hilarious actually you see uh, these autistic multi-boxers doing like 18 accounts at once and you know they're probably making a, a third of a billion per fob. Just bananas. Yeah, and I started scouting, what, two hours ago? No. Um, one, two, three hours ago. So I started three hours ago. It took me an hour, and now I'm two no 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 i'm an hour in i so it took me an hour to scout i'm an hour in and i've done what two fobs already and this is my third right no one two 
this is my second. Now I'll be on to my third. So within an hour, I've done two fobs. Uh, and that includes sorting things out, getting to the system, waiting for the stragglers, and then starting it up. So... Uh, the time zones are way too dissimilar. Yeah, they do that little whirling thing because you're not flying that ship. So, you know, internet lag and all that stuff. That's, that's why it's not really sure of you, the position of it. I think that's why. I don't know. Is that a programming idiocy or just the nature of mobs, right? Because if you look at, like, it's not moving, right? So you can easily see it. But if it's moving, it starts to do that jangly thing. So maybe it's just not sure if it's position or not. I don't know. Is that is that lazy programming? What do you think? Bye.